In this nuage video, we're going to set up the band recording. This uh, goes along with chapter 13, recording the band. So I'm starting off with, with an empty project here, and we're going to build up this project from scratch uh, using the control service and stuff so you can see how that would go. All right, so to begin with, um, you can see here I have already some channels in this project, and what that is is the default VST setup that you see here. Um, I have my VST inputs set up and named according to the preamp that's connected to them or connected to the audio interface. Um, of course, this is going to be different for every studio, but at least that's what you're seeing here. Then uh, for VST outputs, there's only one VST output, the stereo out, because this is going to be a stereo project. So to begin with, uh, I want to add all of the mono audio tracks uh, that I need in the session. So I'm going to count them up. I've got two kick drum mics, one in, one out uh, of the drum, two snare drum mics, top and bottom, hi-hat, two tom-tom -tom mics, a mono room mic, or like a front of kit microphone. Then I'm also going to have uh, overhead microphones and stereo room microphones, but those are going to be on stereo tracks. So right now I just want to count up the mono track. So that's eight so far. Then I've got a bass DI and a bass microphone. That makes 10. Then we've got a guitar mic. We've got lead vocal. And then I'm going to make two spares. So they're just ready to go. So that makes a total of 14 mono tracks. I've made a user defined key for adding audio tracks. And this brings up the dialogue where um, I can count up the amount of mono tracks that I want and add them all at the same time. So there's 14 mono tracks. Great. Now I want to count up the stereo tracks that I'm going to have in this project. So I've got the stereo drum overheads, the stereo room mics for the drums, and stereo piano. So that's three stereo audio tracks. So I'll switch the configuration to stereo and add three stereo tracks. So now before I move on into assigning the inputs and putting them in folders and that sort of organizational stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and name each track so I know where to put it. So if you'll look here, um, I have all the tracks named and ready to go. Now, the mono tracks started out first, so we get to the spares. Then I have the three stereo tracks here, overhead, rooms, and piano. So what I'm going to do is now organize those into folders. And there are some quick ways to do this. So if I take all of the drum tracks, all the mono ones, and then I'm going to uh, control select the overheads and the rooms, I have them all selected together. There's a command to add all of your selected tracks to a folder, and I program this into a user define key. I can move them all to a folder all at once. This makes it very quick and simple. So now all the drums are in a folder that I'm going to label drums. That makes it really easy to arm all of the drum tracks at once. I can hit record and they will all go into record at the same time. It makes it very quick and easy. But along those same lines, since we're going to be recording the whole band, including the singer and everybody together, I'm going to place all of the tracks into another folder. In, in sort of nested, nest the drum tracks inside of another folder. Uh, so I'm going to select the drums and all the way down to, let's see, I'm going to move the piano here. And then I'm going to select from the lead vocal all the way through the drums. And I'm going to put that into a new folder. And I'm going to call this Basic Tracks. Now, notice I've left the spares out because the spares will only come into play if I really need to use them. So now I can simply hit record on the basic tracks folder and every channel in the mixer uh, besides the spares is already in record, ready to go. This just helps you do things quickly.
So in part two of setting up the band, we're going to show you how to assign inputs to each track in the project using the Nuage Fader Unit.